Hi, my name is Dr. Dalia Kamel and I'm an Associate Professor of Physiotherapy in Ahli University Bahrain and Cairo University, Egypt. I want to give you an idea about my recently published paper in the Journal of Pain Research and entitled as Experience of Dysmenorrhea among a group of physical therapy students from Cairo University and Exoplanetary Study. Dysmenorrhea is a very common gynecologic problem that affects female in the reproductive age. The main concern in this research was uh, primary dysmenorrhea which is defined as the painful menses which is felt in the lower abdomen and may extend to the lumbar area and the inner thighs in women with normal pelvic anatomy. This monorrhea has another associated symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. Despite this, menorrhea is a very common and usually starts tense adolescence, but the awareness among young women is very low. Pathophysiology of dysmenorrhea starts with the degeneration of corpus luteum, which increases the progesterone in the body and leads to menstrual flow, and which is combined with increasing of prostaglandin and endoperoxidase. This will increase the myometrial contraction and reduce the blood flow to the myometrium, and the end result will be painful menses or dysmenorrhea. Many young women with dysmenorrhea discuss their painful menses and its associated symptoms with their mothers and friends rather than healthcare providers. That's why the most of dysmenorrhea coping mechanisms being traditional rather than formal healthcare. And this leads to very low medical consultation rate. So the appropriate awareness about the source of um, knowledge to the menses is very important to prevent the misconception about the menstrual cycle and its associated symptoms. The reported worldwide prevalence ranges between 20 to 90 percent. And this variation in prevalence due to the variation in the uh, culture, background, the data collection methods, and the geographical location. If we have a look about the prevalence in different parts of the world, for example, in Canada reports 60 percent, India 65 percent, Malaysia 76 percent, and Oman is 94 percent. In Egypt, which is a large country in the land area and population size, up to our knowledge, there were only four trials tried to report the prevalence of dysmenorrhea, and they were confined to only two districts. So the aim of this study was to investigate the prevalence and impact of dysmenorrhea among female college students. Dysmenorrhea can affect the female's life in different aspects, like physical, psychological, educational, and social. So in this research, we wanted to tackle their experiences about this dysmenorrhea and how they handle it by traditional and or medical way. In this research, there were interesting correlations highlighted, which recommend that a team of multidisciplinary healthcare providers should be involved in dealing with dysmenorrhea. Thank you.